Yes. Yeah. In fact, somewhere we have some twit jackets. We have to have somebody model our twit hoodies right. that we've got. What can I do for you, Randir? Well, I'm really big on DVDs, and I like the director's commentary. Yeah, I love those. That, to me, is the big... I hardly have time to sit down and watch a two-hour commentary. So yeah. I wanted to know, is there a way to rip the commentary to MP3 to take on my MP3 player? Oh, what a good idea. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think that's the best part of DVDs is hearing the director or the screenwriter or the actors talk about the making of the movie. You learn so much about the movie and about how it was made. I, just lo I agree with you. And what a good idea. I never thought of that. Uh, put, put, just get the audio track, because you've already seen the movie. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is, a, what, basically, is extract the audio from the DVD. Now, it's a commercial DVD. So yeah. there's a couple of things you can do. The, the simplest, although not free, is uh, this from CAS Studio, C-A-S-T-U-D-I-O dot org. This is called the DVD Audio Extractor. Very good program for doing just what you want. Uh, you, you can extract the audio from any DVD. Now, that does have a 30-day free trial. It's a full trial. So you could, you, know, you could get as many movies as you could off in 30 days. <laughs> Do that for free. What I like about this is you don't have to rip the DVD to the hard drive first. Every other solution requires copying the DVD to the hard drive and then getting the audio. This will take it right off the DVD. And as you probably know, the commentary track is on the DVD as a separate audio channel. So the DVD player, when you say turn on commentary, just takes it from a different channel. So it's very easy just to take that channel, and this will let you do that, to take that particular channel. It'll make it an MP3, uh, and then you can listen to it on your MP3 player. So this isn't free, but it'll, it, we will let you do it. Now, there are, if you're going to do it for free, uh, you can also do that. You'd use a DVD ripper, like the one that Mikey recommends now, which is uh, DVD to 5, DVD TO, the number no, 5. I'm sorry, shrink to five. That's right. Shrink to five. And that'll take, that'll get the files off the DVD, remove the copy protection. But then you have to use other programs to extract the audio out of it. Now, there's one called, uh, a, a good Linux program called Transcode that you can use. But I've got, I, I'll put this in the show notes. You're going to like this, Randir. This is um, Nikki Page's Digital Solutions from Nikki Guides dot digital dash digest dot com and Nikki has found a way to do it with a Microsoft program called graph edit that was totally designed to do something completely different but just <laughs> happens to be able to do this so it's it's kind of wacky it's a complicated uh, uh, thing so I'm going to tell you to look at the page because you can see it's quite a few steps this is completely free but it requires more steps so if you're willing to pay 30 bucks uh, I would get the uh, CAS Studio DVD extractor because that's just one step and it's very straightforward and simple.